Now, over the past 11 days and before that, many of the rockets that have been fired from Gaza, there's a protection aerial defence shield known as the Iron Dome. According to several sources, the Israelis could also decide to deploy earlier than expected another air defence laser system. It's called the Iron Beam. Let's bring in our science editor, Julia Siegler. Let's go back to the Iron Dome and how it works. Just a lot of people would have seen and heard the noises, not just the missiles, but the system itself. Just, just how it works within this Israel's anti-defence system. It is true. We've, we've been hearing a lot about this Iron Dome, but it is indeed part of a larger arsenal of uh, anti-air defense systems. The way it works, as, it, as, as its name suggests, it's a dome and it's going to intercept short and medium range missiles within a radius of 4 to 70 uh, kilometers. You have ground-based radars that you can see here that are going to detect the enemy launch and identify the type of missile. Then it's going to be able to calculate the trajectory and the point of impact. And depending on that information, on whether, on where it's going to hit, they decide on whether or not to launch an interceptor missile, but that actually comes, Gavin, at a very hefty cost. $50,000 per launch. Uh, now, the um, the effectiveness of the dome is estimated around 90 to 95 percent, so it's huge. But the problem arises when uh, the dome is saturated with missiles, and this is what we saw during the last October 7th attack. Um, now, as I said, the Iron Dome will cover a radius of 4 to 70 kilometers, but you also have other systems that are going to cover other distances. So, for instance, you have David Sling, anti-missile uh, defense system. So uh, this time it's going to intercept any threat within a radius of 300 kilometers. And that's going to fill in the gap with uh, the short-range Iron Dome system, but also with Arrow 3, which here is designed to intercept ballistic missiles. And now to even more try to fill in the gaps, the potential gaps in the Israeli uh, aerial system. The, the Israeli DOD and the company Rafael, the Israeli company, have been developing this time a laser-based anti-missile defense system called the Laser Beam, as you said. And uh, according to some sources close to the Israeli DOD, they could indeed decide to deploy that system earlier than what was uh, expected. And one of the reasons why is that this is actually a very cost-effective system because it only cost about $4 per launch compared to the $50,000 I was talking about uh, with the Iron Dome. Uh, now, how does it work? This is a mobile laser cannon that can really turn to dust. Here you can see uh, these pictures, footage from uh, the company Rafael trying out its system. But it can really turn to dust, rockets, missiles, drones, in a split second. The laser beam is of about 100 kilowatts. Well, we're looking at some of the best technology in the world at the moment in terms of an air defence system, but the iron beam hasn't been deployed yet. No, and it's important to stress that because on social media networks we've been seeing videos uh, that purport to show uh, this uh, this uh, this laser beam, but it, it isn't actually. This is a fake. Uh, I want to show you those pictures. These are uh, night pictures, of course, but this is actually footage from Arma 3, which is a video game that is known because it's particularly realistic uh, with its realistic graphics. Now, we are indeed, when we're talking about these laser beams, we are talking about the future of uh, defense systems. Many countries around the world are trying to develop their own systems here in France. Uh, Ariane, for instance, is developing something called Alma-P, uh, which could actually be used uh, by security forces here in France to secure uh, the, the French capital, uh, for instance, during the, uh, the 2024 Olympics. Now, all of these systems that we've been talking about have also been purchased by uh, other countries. Germany, for instance, recently purchased uh, uh, Aero 3, and uh, even Finland uh, purchased David Sling's anti-defense system. Julia Siegler, thank you.